Hello everyone, it's a whole new week and I have new tarot cards for you. Speaking of tarot cards, you can pre-order the practical tarot deck that I'm working on with artist Holly Carton. The link is below to pre-order your deck and book. It's all happening, you guys. We're almost done with the whole major arcana. So anyway, very exciting. <laughs> but now on to our cards for this week. I did have my primary guide Morgan drew these for us and I'm using my Mystic Dreamer deck tonight and the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I had her draw one Oracle card. So let's see what is in store. Oh, first up the Eight of Swords. So swords is the element of air. This represents our thoughts and sometimes they seem so real in our head, but they are not actually out in the world. And the Eight of Swords is, it goes in a cycle from Ace to 10. So that eight is almost all the way through a cycle. And this is that point where you're feeling trapped, like there's no way to move forward, no way to complete this, but no matter what deck, she is usually holding a blindfold on herself. So this is a nudge from spirit to take off that blindfold. You'll be able to walk right out. You can see there are no swords in front of her. She could just walk right out. But in her head, she feels like there's no way to get past this. So if you are feeling trapped this week, take off that blindfold. You'll be able to navigate right through. All right. Next up. Oh, the five of pentacles. So pentacles is the element of earth. It represents our earthly goods and our earthly body. These are like the health and money cards. And this goes in that same cycle. So the five is halfway through. So this one usually has someone sitting outside of a door. You see all the pentacles up here. And sometimes there will be keys on this card because the message behind this card is that door will be open to you. You don't have to choose to sit outside, but you you have to ask. So this comes up a lot of times or you have to use the key, but it comes up a lot of times when there's an opportunity for a raise or maybe to get a freelance project or something like that. But you have to make that first move, knock on that door, um, ask about it because it will be given to you. Don't choose to wait outside. These probably totally go together, you guys. <laughs> so be sure that you take off the blindfold and see your worth and then ask for, you know, what you need. All right. And finally, oh, the Knight of Swords. So again, another air card. This represents our thoughts. And knights rush in where others fear to tread. So these are always cards with, you know, passion and all that kind of thing. However, knights usually lack follow through. Um, you can see that this knight is rushing in. He's got a great idea. It's glowing, divinely authorized idea. But look, there are no words on this sign. He has no idea where he's going, but he's going there fast. Um, <laughs> so this week when you have that great idea, Take it a step further and map out a plan for you to put the idea into action because this is probably, you know, if you're a writer, it could be a story idea or if you are a knitter, it could be that you have the perfect yarn, <laughs> um, but this is calling you to actually make a plan to follow it through so that you don't just have another great idea that you start and you never finish. All right. All right, and then for our oracle card, oh, the Lady of the Gift. So this one is all about um, generosity and giving. And the thing about that is that is an energy exchange. And when you start giving and being generous, it comes back to you <laughs> because you're putting it out there. And again, every time you take a small step to the universe, it's like, a huge tsunami and it sends good things right back to you. So um, on this one, it says generosity and receiving. So be sure that when you give, you're also ready to receive all the abundance that comes back to you. All right. Gosh, it's going to be a good week, but there's work in there. So do the work. Um, first up, take off that blindfold. Um, this week, when you start feeling trapped, take off the blindfold so that you can walk right forward. And this probably goes hand in hand with this five of pentacles. There's an opportunity. Knock on that door. All right. Take off the blindfold and knock on that door. All right. 
And finally, when you get this great idea, be sure that you actually map out a plan for yourself so that you finish. So you don't just rush in and start and then lose all your impulsion and, and never finish, right? Make a plan. And finally, be sure that you give back this week, right? Be generous with your time or your money or your effort, um, all of that, because then you can be ready to receive when you get it back. All right. I hope that you guys have a great week. Uh, down below is my coffee link. If you would like to give me a tip, oh my gosh, makes my day and keeps me in my Starbucks tea. Ooh, it's low. Um, <laughs> so that link is down there. Also, don't forget to like the video so YouTube shows it more and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a free reading. And if you need a reading, I do do 30 minute private readings through Zoom, so we can do them no matter where you are in the world. And if you click that link down there, you can set an appointment. We'll get it all set up. And finally, I am running a free four-day manifesting challenge this week. So jump in and join us. Find your passion and your dream. Sometimes I'm always telling you, you know, that the universe will give you what you want, but you have to know what you want, right? We have free will. So if you struggle with what do I want? What's the next step for me? What's my new calling? Um, this is a great chance for you to figure that out. So that link is down below as well. Also, my Patreon link is down there with all kinds of exciting book things, so check that out too. I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much. I'm sending you many blessings. Have a good week. Bye.